Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. From last 3 to 4 days, I was thinking what should be the area of my next video. In Java, there are a lot of areas which we can cover, but I think design pattern is one of the most important topic which I should cover in Java. This topic is totally independent of Java and can be applied in any other programming language. But in this series, we are going to learn the different design patterns which we can use not only in Java but also in other programming language. So without making any delay, let's see what is design pattern in Java. So what is design pattern? A design pattern provides a general reusable solution for a common problem occurs in a software development. One thing we should note that this is a reusable solution. Also, these design patterns shows relationship and interaction between the classes and the objects. Mostly in these design patterns, we are going to cover how the objects are getting created and how these objects are interacting in between them. Also, these design patterns are totally programming language independent and can be used in any other programming language. Also, by using these design patterns, we can make our code more flexible, reusable and maintainable. The best benefit what we are getting out of these design patterns are its reusable part. Here, if we are using the design patterns, the reusability of the code will increase a lot. Also, because of this reusability of that code, the code maintenance will be very easy. Going back in history of the design pattern, in 1994, four authors published a book title called Design Patterns elements of reusable object-oriented software. Here also you should note that these books are mostly concentrated on this reusability of the code. These authors are collectively known as the Gangs of Four or GOF. According to them, the principles of this object-oriented design is first the program to an interface and not to an implementation. We should always program our code to the interface and not its implementation. Also, this favors the object composition over inheritance. So, mostly these two principles are followed to create any design pattern. So, going to the types of the design pattern, we have basically three types of the design pattern. The first one is the creational design pattern. In this design pattern, we are mostly concentrated on how the classes are instantiated or how the objects are created. If we see, there are mostly six types of the creational design pattern. The first one is the singleton design pattern. The second is the factory method. After that, we have an abstract factory method, prototype, builder, and the object pool. So, the second type of the design pattern is the structural design pattern. This design pattern are about organizing the different classes and objects to form a larger structure and provide a new functionalities. The part of this structural design patterns are adapter design pattern, bridge design pattern, composite, decorator, facade, flyweight and the proxy design pattern. The third one is the behavioral design pattern. The behavioral design pattern are about identifying the common communication pattern between the objects and realize these patterns. There are 10 design patterns which belongs to this behavioral design pattern. The first one is a chain of responsibility design pattern. The second is a common pattern. The third one is the interpreter pattern. After that, we have iterator and after that, we have around six more. So this video is just the introduction of these design patterns and a little bit of history of these design patterns. In the next videos, we are going to see all these design patterns in detail.